Okay, there is a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on right now. I have a ceiling fan and ropes going down and then below it, there is these katanas and I want to be able to stand in there with the ceiling fan on and those katanas won't slice me in half. And I will be using this. This is chain mail. This is literally hundreds of hours of work of making rings and then linking them together. There's a certain weave you use, a certain pattern to put them together, which I am too lazy to explain. So here is an animation that I definitely didn't steal from anybody else's channel um, to show you how they link together. So basically that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of rows of these and they're gonna be the sleeves then. But yeah, right now it looks kind of silly. It will look cooler once I'm done. And then yeah, once I got them sleeves, I'm gonna go into the katanas of death. Yeah, and then those katanas are gonna swing around and then I'm gonna stand right there and the chain mail should protect me from getting sliced in half from the katanas. Oh, scary. I'm so frightened. But before we do that bit, I'm gonna make the chain mail. We gotta screw this jig to the floor so it doesn't move. That does not wanna go in. It goes through this wood, okay. It goes through the flooring, okay. But there's something underneath the flooring in this area that it doesn't want to go through. I don't know if it's like a metal support beam or something because this isn't upstairs. But at the same time, that kind of bothers me. All right, that's not going anywhere. I bought 1,300 feet of this wire for some reason. I don't know why I bought so much, but it was there and then I bought it. I'm gonna give you a better camera angle, something nice and close up. Let me just give you a nice little, mm, yes, that looks good. Okay, so I got my 1300 feet of wire and I got a sock on my hand so it doesn't burn my hand. At the end of your wire, through a little hole I put in the side of my bar here. And then you turn on the drill and start wrapping, baby. Yeah, baby! Oh, she's looking good! Oh, I messed up. Do you see that there? I messed up. We're not gonna fix that. We're just gonna, we're gonna say that's where we're ending. Give this a nice little snip. In this jig, I designed it so you could pull the bar out through this side, right? And then when you do that, it leaves the spring behind. Je suis intelligent. Ooh. And then you're left with this. Boing. This weird springy thing, right? Very cool, sort of fun to play with. I'm gonna take it and stretch it out. Uh, now you can see there's a gap and a little space between all the little circle thingies. The next step is we take this and we snip it all the way up the center. Snip, and then you're left with one of these rings. And basically it's when we link a bunch of these rings together that we can make a whole patch of stuff which is supposed to be resistant to sharp objects like knives and such. <laughs> what's this? This is a knife, right? Oh, what's this? This is my hand, right? Yeah, see, it works. It can make a shirt. It can make a nice hat. It can make some, some pants. It can make whatever article of clothing you desire to be protected by from fans that have katanas dangling from them. So yes, it's a very, very useful technology to have some chain mail. But anyways, I have a lot of snipping to do, so I'ma get to it. I mean, all the snipping gives you a forearm pump. I'm not sure if you can see that 
in the camera, but like it's actually like a workout. So uh, I'm gonna switch to my left hand now and snip with this one because I try and work up my forearms evenly because I feel like having a right forearm that's way bigger than the left just looks kind of sus. All right, we got a nice little pile of rings here now. Let's link them up, shall we? Did you enjoy that time lapse or did you not enjoy it because it hurt your attention span? I know you feel this way because I would have felt the same way watching a time lapse of similar length. Hey, you know what? It's okay. I will give you what you need. Okay, and that is the second sleeve done. Tripod adjustment. Let's put this thing on. <laughs> in the future, I'm definitely gonna make these longer and I'm gonna fill in this so it's a nice V-neck. This should be good enough to protect me from the katanas of death. So let me set up this tripod. Because for some reason YouTube keeps getting all weird and they're getting all funky. My videos keep getting like shadow banned or whatever you call that because of dangerous stunts. So for anybody watching from YouTube, I just want to clarify, this is all CGI. None of this is real. This is all fake. None of this is real. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of freaked out now. I think this will work. All right, this is the moment of truth. Will my chain mill protect me from these here swinging katanas? We're just gonna kind of thrust in there. Ooh, I felt that, I felt that. Okay, I'm being attacked. Oh, oh, okay, we broke it, we broke it. It's broken. I definitely felt that. I definitely felt that, but it didn't feel like like a knife trying to slice me. It just felt kind of like a blood force trauma. But uh, yeah, the chain mail worked, I think, dude. I would say this is a success. This is a success. What's next is I wanna see how, how much this can actually take. So I'm gonna go buy a watermelon. Portrait or landscape? Definitely landscape. I figured. Say like, hi, my name is Adrian. I just got home from work and now I'm filming with Caleb. Hello, my name is Adrian. I just got home from work and now I am filming for Caleb. Yes, I have here a cantaloupe because they were out of water Malones. This was the biggest Malone they had in the store. I'm gonna insert it into the chain mail Ooh. and see how it does against stabby stabby motions and slicey motions. We're gonna start with the slicey motions. <laughs> Alright, bring close, see if there's any damage. Ooh, a little bit. Not much though. Okay, now we're gonna try it with the stabby motion. Stab it! Yeah! Yeah! Hang on, I saw it when I stabbed it, one ring opened up. When I stabbed, it went directly in the center of the ring and caused it to open up. And then that made a hole in the chain mail. What I think they did in olden times, they would solder the ends together so that wouldn't happen. I probably won't bother on these hundreds and hundreds of links to go over the whole thing. But yeah, overall, stabby test is a success. Slicey test is a success. Yeah. It's enough slices! Now we do it with me in the chain mail. My, camera, my cameraman is just gonna very gently stab me. 
Slice me, don't stab me. I'm not sure if stabbing's a good idea. It just feels like um, like a bit of a punch. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, barely. I'm slightly harder. Yeah, we're good. Do you want to try? Okay. Are you sure? Can you see my face right now? <laughs> okay, and we're also going to prove to the audience that this is a real watermelon. So I'm going to throw it up in the air and Adrian's going to stab it on the way down. Ah. Oh. First ninja. Hey. Oh, bro, bro, I'm holding it. Don't. St yes. You can see here, it's a real watermelon. Ow, my toe. Is that screwed to the floor? Yeah, I screwed this to your floor earlier. Bro. Yeesh. Ooh. Ooh. You should put on a maid outfit. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Okay, thank you for watching. I just caught my hand just a little bit on the last one. Bruh, yeah, you were stabbing it. Dude, you stabbed it while I was holding it.